Hi. Um, today I'm going to be doing a rum review of a really lovely rum, and it is uh, Atlantico Private Cask. Now, this rum relatively new on the market. Um, it's from Dominican Republic, and uh, which the Dominican is on the Greater Antilles Archipelago of the Caribbean. Which uh, anybody that's been to the uh, Dominican Republic, um, I've been lucky enough to go a couple of times, and it is absolutely beautiful, lush green island. Uh, like I say, if you take a trip into the interior, just swathes of uh, sugarcane growing all over the place. It's just a fantastic, beautiful, lush green island, and. Um, they make such good rums you know it's well known over in the Dominican for good rums of course it shares its border with Haiti and um, you know Haiti um, produces uh, one of the distilleries in Haiti produces the Barbon Court rums which are pretty well known amongst the rum drinking world as well um, this rum itself consists of a blend of rums between 15 and 25 years old um, it's triple aged rum so basically it, it, it's rum which they age first of all in barrels then they take the aged rum they take it out of the barrels put it into newly charred ex bourbon barrels age again and then they put it through a solera system where it ages again so uh, they and like I said in the, my last uh, review um, which was uh, the Santa Teresa 1796 um, the Solera system pretty much from what I've read about it is the same sort of thing a cascade system it's barrels on top of each other uh, older rums at the bottom newer rums at the top and they just go through letting a percentage out of each barrel so it, it's a continual process and then they uh, take them out of the barrel and like I say it's, it's aged again so you, it's a triple aged rum uh, which gives more, you think of all the triple aged, you're talking about more complexity, more flavour and um, smoother rum, you know. So there you go, it's triple aged. Uh, another thing about this rum is they use rums that have been produced from sugarcane juice and that allows more floral notes to, in the rum for the blender to use. Uh, they use rums which are from molasses based rums which um, are more deeper and richer in flavour so um, it gives the body to the rum and then they use rums from what is called aguadente rums which is uh, it's rum which has been distilled at, to a lower alcohol content um, if anybody's tried out there tried cachaca that is your aguardente uh, rum basically it's 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 a, a rum which is distilled and it's got real there's a greenness about it and that's how I, I would explain it there's a greenness about it it's you can taste the cane you can taste the sugar cane it's it's uh it's beautiful i love cachaca which i've opened i shall review a few cachacas along the way as well um so there you go, that's how they, they, the blender uses those three different sorts of rums to end up with this product, which is fantastic. Um, like, like I told you, we've gone through the Solera system on it. Uh, this rum here, if we have a little look at the bottle before I go and take a taste, it's got a really lovely design to the bottle. It's a square bottle, as you can see. And just here, if you have a look, there's embossed in, in the glass two anchors. And here is the logo and the logo is of someone's put a lot of thought into this uh, logo because it's of two rum barrels two anchors entwined by sugarcane throngs so you know you've got the link there with the land the sugarcane the rum production and the sea being an island surrounded by water absolutely a lot of thought in it. I like that that's a good little touch now I'm gonna pour a little little uh, glass and we'll see what we think of this right straight away you've only got to look at that bottle to have a look it's got a lovely golden mahogany color to the rum itself 
and then you if you swirl it round in the glass you can see like I said this has got I reckon sort of medium that uh, sort of medium to long legs they're sort of very thin so it's got the thin legs on it so the, the viscosity is not too thick on it it's very smooth like I said now smell take us take us for oh, the aroma is fantastic sugar cane you can smell little cane notes in it syrupy it's got like a mapley syrup smell to it um, you've got brown sugars it just oozes brown sugars honey it's a good it's a really lovely you can tell straight away that this is going to be one hell of a smooth run just to just by smelling that I'm going to take a first sip wow that is so smooth um, this the initial taste when you take a sip of it envelopes your mouth envelops your mouth completely inside of your cheeks everywhere just gets the flavor just really coats lovely your tongue gets coated really nice um, like I said honey caramel hints of vanilla um, there's oakiness to it but not I'm not I, I like a very I like oakiness to a rum but I like like this rum it's little touches of oakiness it's just it's there it's there but it's not overpowering so just a, just the right amount in my opinion it is all around gorgeous it's like I said the finish to it is um like I said that one little test more yeah the finish is long caramel finish and with a slight touch of oakiness it's gorgeous it really is nice now this rum here if you was to buy it now on the internet it would cost you in the uk 37.75 a bottle now is that you know is that worth it for that bottle of rum what a lot of people might be asking well actually think about it 15 to 25 year old blend really smooth it's one of the smoothest rums that i've tasted it is gorgeous and for under 40 pound a bottle is a bargain in my my eyes i'm probably one of the best bargains i've got in a, in a little while so yeah i'd say it's definitely worth it they do do uh, other rums in the range and that is um they do a reserver and a platino rum which is uh the a white rum the platino rum which is a uh, more for, I would think for um, mixing but hopefully I'll be able to do a review on that soon so um, I hope this has been um, useful to anybody to, to people out there and um, until next time enjoy <laughs>